It's uh, it's been a long week. I gotta admit, it's been a long, long week. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It has been quite the week, but uh, we're keeping it pushing. We're keeping it pushing. I'm sure a lot of you are pretty shook by the title. You're probably like, what the heck is Thomas even like? What? Is Thomas okay? Yes, I'm doing just fine. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm titling this because I literally don't know. What okay, let me just stop rambling. So today I have a super fun video that I'm pretty sure no one has done before. And if they have, I don't know. I'm going to be stripping myself from all of the makeup knowledge that I've learned over the past few years. I'm going to ignore all of my techniques and how I know how to do makeup and I'm literally going to follow along step by step to a beauty guru's makeup tutorial, how they recommend apply products, how they apply products, how much they apply, literally step by step what they do. Before I got into makeup, I was the type of person that would literally follow step by step um, I would watch makeup tutorials, I'd watch Manny MUA, I would watch Patrick Starr, I'd watch Jaclyn Hill, I'd watch Nikki tutorials, I'd watch all of them and literally like step by step follow along when they did makeup tutorials. And I always thought that was super fun. Literally the first look I ever done was inspired by a look Manny MUA done. So and I think it'd be really cute of a series to do where I try to follow along, literally try to use some of the same products that they use see how it works on my skin. I think it'd be really fun and super cool. So I asked my friends who should be the first beauty guru that I try, and my friends are some shady, shady people because they all said Jeffree Star, and I think that is going to be hilarious. So yes, I'm gonna try to find a makeup tutorial by Jeffree Star and follow along step by step. <laughs> and follow along step by step throughout his video and literally just like do the exact same thing he's doing and put it on my face and see how it works and how it goes. I might even try to mimic one of his intros. <laughs> so I guess what I'm gonna do is just type in Jeffree Star. Oh my God. <gasps> Eek. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Okay. Canceled. Oh, right there. Makeup tutorials. Sweet, okay. What about this one? Acne has been a huge problem. Um, yeah, cool. a lot okay so maybe let's try a different video that one looks a little bit too easy what's this one <laughs> what's up everybody welcome back to my chat did he just look a palette Ew. If you want to see how I created this fantasy, then keep on watching. All right, let's dive into this. Ooh. <laughs> I was not expecting that! Ooh, I was not expecting that! Oh my god, I was not expecting this bitch to go scalp her wig off. Ooh. Now, for primer, today we're going to be going into one of my all-time favorites, the Sisley Double Tensier. Okay, I've heard, I've heard a lot about this primer, so let me look up. Let me look up how much, what is this, the Sisley, Sisley Primer. Okay, I honestly don't know the prices. Oh girl, oh girl, oh no. Well, today I'll be using my my version of a bougie primer, which is the YSL Tushy Clap Blur Primer. Um, primer, this one is everything. So I'm gonna, of course, coat my fingers and rub this all over my face. For foundation today, oh, I'm gonna- Calm down, okay. So, so rub this all over the face. 
Go down to that. Minus my forehead. I don't have a forehead. I mean, I do, but like, for the sake of like, I don't have a forehead. But I don't have a forehead. I just don't. I'm gonna be going in with something I haven't really used on camera before. It is from the brand Grillon, and this is the. Oh, girl, you have money. Oh, you have money. Well, I'm gonna be going into Maybelline. Um, matte and poreless, or or I could go into my Lancome. I could, you know, step my 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 punani up a little bit. I'll go into my Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. Um, I don't have Guerlain money. He does. Now let's get a little damp beauty blender and. Get I'll take my Japanese sponge. So he applies it to the beauty sponge. So I'm gonna apply it to the beauty sponge. So I'm gonna take that many and i'm just going to and he he does a bunch all over the face right yeah okay for concealer today i'm going to be going in with the new nars soft matte complete concealer okay so i don't have that so i'm just going to go into my current favorite concealer which is the urban decay all-nighter concealer um let's see what he does of course i'm just going to go in with the beauty blender and get some on the tip <laughs> come on tip and I'm just gonna take this and put it right under my eyes. So he's just putting it on the under eyes, which you guys know me. I like to put my concealer everywhere. So I'm I'm just gonna do what he says and apply it on the under eyes only. So he blends it out. Let me see what happens next. Okay. I actually like Shivering White from MAC. I actually lost my Shivering White from MAC like months ago, so I actually couldn't use that, but I did have it at one point. But that's an actual good product. So I don't have something like that right now, so I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, and I'm just going to use that to set my under eyes. So I'm just gonna blend out my under eyes. How does he do this? White with the damp beauty blender. Okay, uses it with a damp beauty blender. Okay, cool. Set the under eyes and anywhere where I put concealer, like the chin, the bridge of my nose, and of course the forehead. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite setting powder of all time, the La Mer the Bow. Girl, that's ex this this girl ha Jeffrey has money. And we're just gonna buff that into the skin, and you can leave it and just have it sit there for a minute while it soaks in, and you can brush it away in a second. Oh, so he puts more powder under his. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with my, my Maybelline powder because, uh, girl, we cannot afford La Mer in this house. We have bills to pay. So he just like kind of like dusts it all around. And now it's time to do a little bit of uh, contour, if you will. So today I'm gonna be going in with a brand new bronzer that I just discovered at Sephora. And it is from the brand Marc Jacobs. I have this one, I have this one. I think you're supposed to, you know, use the brush with this and go in. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. That's like... You're not sure, Jeffrey. Yes. Yes. You use the brush for the makeup. Girl. Okay, girl. Yeah, this is self-explanatory. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. And yes, she's pigmented. And I actually don't like this brush for this bronzer. I think it's too bulky. Um... But we shall make do. My new favorite combination is Peach Goddess with Oh, the see girl, I definitely don't have those. I don't have those highlighters. It looks like he's using a pinky highlighter. I'm gonna go into the Ofra, this new Ofra highlighter called Pillow Talk. It kind of it doesn't look the same. But it's mine's pinky too. And I don't have that brush anymore, so I'm gonna go into a synthetic. I'm gonna go into the Makeup Shack T38 brush. I guess we're just going to uh, dig in. Yeah. Like I said, Ofra highlighters are banging. Oh, I kind of forgot how much I loved Ofra highlighters. How does he highlight? Why does he bring it into his cheek like that? Like he brings it almost right into here. So I guess I'm gonna do that too. Do I like that? I mean, 
I'm not opposed to it, but like it definitely highlights the fact that I have pores. All right, now let's get these eyes started. Today we're gonna be using the YSL Couture Eye. Damn, bitch, you got money! Bitch, you got money. Girl, no, I'm gonna be using the exact same concealer I was using. Cause I, YSL, bitch. YSL Eye Primer. No, girl. I'm gonna go in with this. We're going to pull out my androgyny eyeshadow palette. Oh, girl, I don't have that. I do not have that. And one of them, which is the main star of the look, is of course Charm. My Charm. So I have this Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street palette that kind of has kind of the same tones as the Jeffree Star palette. Um, but I'm gonna go into this shade. That what is shade? What color? What is this? Magical or Stardust? I don't know. It's either Magical or Stardust. And use that. And he's using Charm. So let's see what he does. Favorite transition color for really any look. And we're literally just going to start patting this on our eye. So you're gonna take the brush and you're just gonna. What start brush is that? That's a bullet brush. Okay. In the inner corner, and I'm gonna go like this. And that is like a little placeholder for where. I'm so he's starting to put it in his inner corner. Okay, what are you doing, Miss Jeffrey? I'm gonna go into this Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette instead. This has like a little bit of a darker, like darker orange right here. And I'm gonna start to use that one because his orange looks a little bit more darker and a little bit more pigmented. So I'm gonna just like dip into this Queen of Hearts palette and then do the same thing again. Oh yeah, that looks better. What the hell? Okay. A few moments later. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> so I'm just packing on. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. It's blended, girl. What happened to the? That's the most important part. Oh my god. Charm all over the lid, and what I quickly did off camera is I took a blending brush. Oh, you did ya now? You did it off camera, did ya? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Well. And I just kind of feathered it out, barely with any product on. The okay, so he just feathered it out with barely any product on the brush, so. I guess I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Girl, Jeffree Star, sister. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And now we're going to take a tiny little MAC detailer brush. This is the 221. And we are going to dip into shade Dominatrix, this beautiful dark chocolate shade right Ooh. here. This one from the Queen of Hearts palette looks a little bit less intimidating because that's kind of dark. Yeah, I might just go into Duchess because Duchess seems less intimidating. I guess I'm gonna massage this into my crease as well. I don't have a deep socket like he does, so I don't know how this is gonna look. Give us that really dramatic look. So he kind of tilt over and he's kind of doing like these little motions, so. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with 
One of my all-time favorite black liners. This is Smolder from MAC, and I am just going to put this in my waterline quickly, and then... Okay, I don't have Smolder from MAC, so I'm going to use my favorite black eyeliner. I don't have those. It's nice to really have a moment of like, hi, I'm peachy and I'm here, bitch. So I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. Now it's time for the lip. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes. So I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then put on my lashes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so let's Lips keep going. I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream in shade. What is this called again? Yours to try. This is a beautiful- Okay, I used to have these. I honestly don't know where they are, so I'm gonna look for them real fast. BRB. A lot of my stuff is packed up, so I couldn't find yours to try, but I did find Fawn Over Me. So uh, hopefully it looks the same. Probably not, but who cares? Beautiful, warm toned nude color. I think it's gonna go perfect with this eye look. Okay. Are you sure his is yours to try? Because this looks like the exact same. I think his is fawn over me, to be honest. And he didn't use a lip liner or nothing, so. He like connects his inner corners together for some reason. So I'm gonna do that. I don't like doing that because it gets all gloopy on these inner corners. But I'm gonna do it because he did it. Cool. Let's see what else he's giving. Lips are on. Ooh, I love this color combo right now. All right, I think the only thing left to do is set the face and not to sound like this is a coconut Marc Jacobs horror ad, but they also came out with a brand new setting spray and I just got all this stuff in the mail right before. Okay, I don't have that with me. I actually gave that away because I don't like coconut. So um, I'm gonna use the Morphe setting spray to set my face. You can use code Thomas in all caps. So this is basically what I was able to come up with, basically just going off of what he was telling me to do, given, you know, with the techniques that he was using and just following along with his video. And I think I got pretty close to what he is um, showing on his video. I, I think, what do you guys think? Um, but yeah, and if you guys want this to be a series, let me know in the comment section down below who you want me to, you know, follow and make a tutorial on Nikki Tutorials, Jackie Aina, any beauty guru, no matter how I feel or how I felt in the past about the beauty guru, just definitely leave me some beauty gurus in the comment section down below and I'll definitely follow along to their tutorials if they even have a tutorial. So with that being said, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you so much for watching and don't forget to vote for me for the Shorty Awards and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel.